Hi, I'm Mark Hamilton. I'm the Executive Director for Aquifer Management Services at the Edwards Aquifer Authority. And today I'd like to share with you just a little bit of information about our various water quality programs that we conduct to better understand water quality inside the aquifer system. So we have a whole team of people that are constantly taking different types of water samples. So we take surface water samples, we take samples at the springs, and of course we take samples from wells so that we can get a representative look at what the water quality is in the aquifer itself. The springs on the other hand are kind of this big composite sample of the whole system and that's also very informative. So we call that our routine water quality sampling program. However, we have other programs that we run to look at changes or trends in water quality over time. We've partnered with people outside the agency, for example, uh, University of Texas San Antonio. We've been working with them, looking at things like DNA in the water from different microbial sources so that we can better understand sources of water that come into the system, which is a, often you may not think of that as a water quality component, but if we better understand what the source water is, is this well connected, for example, directly to a surface water source, or is this water very old? It may have a different microbial community contributing to the water signature, and that's very important for us to understand. So between our routine program, where we look at things like isotopes, and we look at nutrients, and we look at at times, depending on the situation, we may look for actual contaminants like volatile organic compounds or something like that. Having this broad spectrum sampling program really equips us to be able to look at and understand what the quality of the water is in the system and how that might change over time or if it changes over time. With regard to the land surface and how that may impact water quality, that's kind of a new area of study for us. And that really came to be when we acquired our field research park and we have opportunity to look at how the land surface might impact the quality of water running off when a rain a fall event occurs. So, hmm. At our research park, we're right on Civil Oak Creek, and we know that that part of Civil Oak Creek recharges the aquifer directly. So the better we understand how a healthy land surface, like healthy vegetation and native vegetation, impacts the quality of rainfall runoff, the better we understand how to protect the system long term. So at that particular location, we're looking at ways to keep the sediment and the soil and all the debris on the land surface and out of the water bodies because we don't want sediment going into the creeks and becoming part of the recharge because we have a karst aquifer system. Karst systems don't offer any significant filtration to recharge. Typically what is at the surface is what's going to go into the system. So we're trying to better understand ways to protect the system in terms of water quality as well as water quantity at the field research park.